we expect other people to behave the way that we think that we would behave. And whenever they don't, it's the cause of so much stress and, and, and turmoil and frustration or just confusion. A lot of tension in relationships comes from the other person not doing what seems so obvious to us. And a lot of stress and frustration with the world around us is, why can't people just do what I would do or behave the way that I think is right? Now, you may know someone who thinks or talks like this, or it may be yourself. In fact, almost all of us do to a certain extent. And you can see that in your interactions with other people. You can see it, especially in the times when maybe you're feeling a little bit more vulnerable. These are the times when we don't communicate directly or as directly. It's harder when we don't feel as strong in, in our strength to stand in our power and say, this is what I want. We don't do that as well when we're vulnerable. So then when we, we say, or we position ourselves in a certain way, just expecting that people will come and give us what we think we would give to a person in that situation. A very, very common thing that a lot of people do is when they feel hurt or upset that they withdraw they get quieter or they, 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 yeah, they just really withdraw and they start to keep to themselves more. And they expect that other people around them are going to notice this. Go, ah, oh, Sally is a bit more withdrawn now. That probably means she wants me to run to her and help her out and, 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 and give her a big hug. No, that's not how people think. I say, ah, oh, she's withdrawing a bit. Cool. I probably didn't even notice that. I'll go do what I'm doing and I'll just assume that she's uh, got things under control and if she wanted my help with anything I'm sure she'd ask. This isn't the case. We might send someone a message asking for advice when really actually we just want them to care and say and, and, and empathize and say that something might be hard for them. We might do all sorts of things with the expectation that the person's going to know exactly what we're trying to communicate underneath all of this. And generally, when we communicate from this place, especially from a place of being a bit wounded or vulnerable ourselves, we don't communicate as directly as the, high, the stakes are higher. We need them to be better mind readers, or it's going to be even worse for us. <laughs> and then when they're not, well, of course they couldn't. And that tends to hurt us and them and the relationship more. So what we need to do is something that's very difficult. We need to be able to be strong in ourselves and communicate directly what our real needs are, even when we don't feel our strongest. 